We have 20 OLEDs behind me that are rolling up and down. Uh, some from the ceiling, some from the floor. We brought them here because unlike last year, we have two different versions. But the one that will go on sale uh, sometime this year, somewhere in the world, uh, is the one that is rolling up on the ground, the rollable OLED R. And uh, we think it's still amazing to watch. People saw it last year, but there, it's still the most crowded area of our exhibition hall. Uh, but beyond that, we do have some other wonderful TVs, 8K TVs. You know, there's 77 inches, 88 inches. I mean, you could cover your entire wall in Singapore. We have a brand new 48 inch uh, gaming TV. And so you think 48 inches, wow, that's too big to be a monitor. Well, it's optimized for gaming. And because it's OLED, it's got the wonderful deep blacks and the fast millisecond reaction okay. rate. So if you are a gamer, uh, you got to check out these OLED gaming TVs. It's like a whole new category that uh, will blow people's minds. We have uh, connected cars we're going to show here at CES. In the future, it may be autonomous driving. What are some of the things you can do with an advanced AI connected car that you probably could never imagine being able to do if you were driving? Uh, for example, it has two OLED displays in the front and the back. You could immerse yourself watching a movie. Uh, it has a styler. In other words, you can actually put your jacket and even a coat in the styler. And it'll, it'll clean and purify it while you're riding. Uh, we have uh, a restaurant that is run completely by robots, from taking orders, to uh, cooking, to serving coffee, drinks, and uh, washing the dishes. And when, when it comes time, uh, time to pay, it'll take your payment as well. So what we're showing is how they could actually exist in a real business commercial environment. We, we're showing off um, an AIDD, AI stands for Artificial Intelligence, DD stands for Direct Drive Washing Machine. And what this washing machine does is it actually knows what kind of clothes you put into it. It adjusts the settings to match that load perfectly. And then it tells the dryer what clothes it just washed so that the dryer can adjust its setting. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to look at the label and say, oh, this is polyester or 20% wool. It just knows. That's through the power of AI. We believe AI in the home is something that will be around for a long time, and it will take a long time. In other words, some people will never have it for you know, 10 years, and some people may have it, I mean, most of their home uh, you know, upgraded you know, in two years. I think it's going to be a lot like when people were upgrading from standard TV to high definition TV, it took like 10 years. Now it's standard. It takes time and there's really no one particular formula that we use, but once it happens, uh, it will, you know, it'll be very ubiquitous. Like people won't even realize that they've turned their home smart. Uh, and there's no time frame in our mind other than that it's, for us, it's a long-term strategy.